I brought you a bear. I'd say you'd need it after a hard battle. Ah, great. It's as hot as Pa's Forge out here today. That's very sweet of you to get me a beer. Actually, Bianca sent it. Her Pa doesn't want her to come here. Ah, I see. I'll make it up to her this evening. I don't want to know how. How come you're training on your own today? You're usually here with that vagabond. What's his name? Vanyek. And he's not a vagabond. He's a wayfaring combat master. Well, it looks like he's off wayfaring somewhere else today. Yeah. <laughs> More likely sleeping off last night's boozing. Actually, since I've no opponent today, wouldn't you like to have a go? I mean, a bit of swordplay. I could teach you. Me? Swordplay? Sure. Why not? All right, then. I accept your challenge, young sir. But I must warn you, I can swat a mouse with a broom with my eyes closed. Yeah, I knew you had the heart of a warrior. Let's go, then. Come on, then. Show me what you're made of. Whoever is the first to hit the other ten times is the victor. What if I hurt you, then? Ah, don't worry. I can handle it. Don't go easy on me, Harold. Ah, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, really? Now that is hardly chivalrous behaviour. Now, I shall have to fight for my honour. Take that, you scoundrel! Oh. Are you all right? It's nothing. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Are you mad at me? No, of course not. It's my own stupid fault. Well, that'll teach you to go around slapping decent, God-fearing girls on the backside. <laughs> Let me have a look at it. No, no, it's only a scratch and a couple of splinters. And I didn't mean to, you know. Show me that. No, really, it's nothing. You know how it is, Hal. He who lives by the sword. Dies by the splinter, eh? <laughs> <laughs> there now. By the way, you owe Bianca for that beer. <laughs> 